This video is going to be about basic lung sounds. I've gotten a couple of requests for a video about basic lung sounds. And the goal of this video is going to be to explain some basic lung sounds and give you some memory tricks to remember which words go with which sounds. Um, if you really want to hear the lung sounds, I encourage you to look elsewhere on YouTube. I think there's a lot of great free resources uh, letting you listen to lung sounds online. But the point of this video is going to be to help you remember which lung sounds are heard where and what you call them. So first let's talk about bronchial and vesicular lung sounds. So in general, bronchial sounds are heard over your bron bronchi and bronchioles, so your larger conducting airways. So you've got, in your airways, you've got your trachea, your bronchi, and then those turn into bronchioles. lobar bronchioles and then that turns into smaller bronchioles after that. Um, and then ultimately you end up getting to alveoli down here. So bronchial sounds are sort of louder and harsher and you hear them more in this area here. So I put a B there for bronchial sounds. Vesicular sounds are a little bit quieter and they are heard more in the periphery around your alveoli. So the trick for remembering which are where, uh, you bronchial makes sense because bronchial are by the bronchioles and if you remember your lung anatomy, um, bronchioles and bronchi are at the top of the tree. So B, you can also draw this picture here where you have B for your bronchial sounds. And we're going to draw lungs here, so B. And then your vesicular sounds can go around the outside. V, V, V for vesicular. and you end up making this lung shape here. With B's and V's where your bronchial and vesicular sounds are heard. Another trick is that the V in vesicular can stand for alveolar. So the bronchial sounds are around your bronchi and your bronchioles and the vesicular sounds of the V are around your alveoli. In general, you can chart that these are um, present or absent, you generally just chart diminished or absent breath sounds in a certain area. You don't necessarily say diminished vesicular sounds. Um, I suppose you could, but in general you chart diminished or absent or normal breath sounds and you mean vesicular or bronchial depending on where you're listening. So now let's talk about crackles and wheezes. Um, these are sounds that you can hear that are adventitious. They're not normal sounds that you can hear when you're listening to lungs. So crackles is a sound, I think of it as crackles, like snap, crackle, pop, uh, like Rice Krispies. So you hear this sound when you sort of pop alveoli open. So you have an alveoli, alveolus, that's kind of closed because it's deinflated, you're not taking deep breaths, or maybe there's some mucus or some fluid causing it to collapse. And so normally if you have just shallow breathing, the air is going to go in and out and it's not going to enter the alveoli. You're not going to hear very much. You might hear really diminished or absent breath sounds. But if you take a big cough or big deep breath, you can push the air into the alveoli and pop it open. And you hear this little crackle, um, I think snap, crackle, pop, rice crispy sound, and it pops the alveoli open. Um, other people describe it as your hair. If you take your hair and you twist it next to your ear, it sounds like a crackle sound, like a fine crackle. Um, so you might hear crackles anytime you have alveoli that are getting popped open. So this could happen if, like I said, you haven't been taking deep breaths and your alveoli are collapsed, or you have mucus in there that's collapsing your alveoli, or you have fluid in your alveoli that's messing up the surface tension and so you have collapsed alveoli, but if you can pop them open, 
you get a crackle sound. So there's two types of crackles. You can have fine and coarse crackles. And from my experience, um, I see these more in textbooks, on exams, fine and coarse crackles. In practice, I don't really see people referring to fine versus coarse crackles. I just hear them calling them crackles. So if you were to differentiate, fine crackles are more often uh, like that hair sound or like the Rice Krispie sound versus coarse crackles are described like Velcro. In both cases, though, you're popping open alveoli, and you can often have it when you have fluid overload. And as you get more experience, you'll notice that when you hear crackles, it sort of fits into a certain clinical scenario. I often hear crackles when I think someone is fluid overloaded. I think they might eat Lasix, and I'm listening to them one last time before I call the doctor. I often hear crackles. Um, which to me means that they are wet and fluid overloaded. Wheezes, on the other hand, are heard more in that bronchial region uh, where over your larger airways, your bronchioles or your bronchi. So wheezes are usually, they can be during inspiration or expiration, anytime you have air passing through a large airway where it's sort of squeezed. But I would say traditionally, like with COPD and asthma, you hear them during expiration. And I think of it anytime you have sort of a narrowing due to anything. It could be a foreign body. It could be mucus. Um, it could be that you're having a bronchospasm and your smooth muscle of your bronchi are squeezing shut. Regardless, anytime you have air that's sort of getting a whistle sound as it gets pushed through this small area. That's wheezing. And I would say most people have probably heard wheezes before, especially the upper airway wheezes where people um, are creating some narrowing in their upper airway, um, maybe because you've been running or someone older has climbed the stairs. Um, you can sometimes hear those even without a stethoscope if it's an upper airway wheeze. So the treatment for this would be to bronchodilate them, to give them something to pull make this airway larger. Uh, you can also give them something to de decrease mucus. Whatever is causing the wheezing and the narrowing of those airways, you can give a drug to um, reverse that. So now let's talk a little bit about rails and ronchi. And I had a little bit of trouble when I was learning about breath sounds because I would learn about crackles and wheezes and vesicular and bronchial sounds and then rails and ronchi would sort of randomly be thrown in there and I would think, well, I haven't learned about these. Um, but really, they're very similar to what you've already learned. So I'm going to give you a trick to remember what goes with what. So rails are crackles. It's just another name for them because in medicine we like to call things by multiple names and expect you to know the names of all of them. So rails are the same as crackles. Um, they can be fine or coarse, and it's usually associated with alveoli popping open, like with fluid overload, mucus congestion, pneumonia. Um, so the trick for that is rails starts with R-A, and crackles has R-A in it right here. So crackles and rails are pretty much synonymous. So in my experience, we almost always call them crackles. Sometimes some charting softwares have them as rails, and some physicians call them rails. So either one, it seems to me, are appropriate. Ronchi are a type of wheezing. So my trick for this is wheezing has an H in it, and so does ronchi. So ronchi are wheezes, and as far as what I've read about this, they seem like they're not as interchangeable as crackles and rails, but they're both a type of wheeze. They're both a type of sound that is produced when you push air through a narrowed airway. Um, Wheezes are more the stereotypical wheeze, sort of a more higher pitch, like <laughs> sound, um, whereas ronchi are a little bit more lower pitched. I've heard them called so sonorous, like snoring. Um, and I encourage you to listen to some YouTube videos that give you good examples of them. But in general, ronchi are sort of a type of wheeze versus crackles, and rails are the same thing, a crackle, because they both have RA in them. So that's basic breath sounds. Remember, 
that bronchial sounds are heard closer to your bronchial and your bronchioles in the center of your airways. Uh, the conducting passages versus vesicular sounds are more with the alveolar sounds and they're more on the periphery where we draw our V's here. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.